experiment guys so outdoor video for a decent catch up um, it's quite nice today at least it's not raining and it's not too cold it's cold but I've got like a couple of layers on so it shouldn't be so bad um, I've been locked out my house so I've got to wait until my housemate and my carer get back I think I left my phone at college as well I'll probably get a comment from Josh going yes you did I've got it or you didn't show you in your office you silly bonker and I'm like this one yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my Tag Your It videos. Thanks, Rowan, for inspiring them. That's a totally awesome of you. Um, and I'm going to now talk about a few things I've been up to, as well as what I'm planning for the next couple of videos. Um, first off, um, I managed to blag myself a book of mirrors, considering it's a book that I've um, been meaning to start doing, and I've done two entries so far, yesterday and today. And I hope to be continuing this when I go up to York and obviously everywhere else. But this is private, so I'm not going to read anything out because, yeah, it's private. So I might put some Book of Mirrors stuff onto my Tumblr. So that's exclusive and maybe to Facebook as well. So, yeah, exclusive stuff. So you might be lucky. Anyway, um... <clears throat> I thought I'd also tell you that I found my totem animal at last, came to me in a dream uh, last night. Turns out I have a cute little black cat with little white socks and a little white nose. And she's so adorable, she's totally cute, but I haven't got a name for her yet, so I'm probably going to have to visit her again. Maybe I'll ask her whilst I'm doing my visualisation ritual from looking for my spirit guide, I might talk to her whilst walking up to meet the spirit guide, so yeah, might be a wise idea. Um, I also picked up today, it's easy, the receipt's still in it, but Cunningham's Magical Sampler, I've been meaning to get it for a little while, I saw it in, a book, in the bookshop and I'm thinking, if it's there in a couple of days, I'll buy it, and I was like, yeah, it was there, so fate said I must buy it, so um, yeah, so it's got like, um, Chapters about different types of witchcraft, it's got recipes and spells, tells you information about the magical pantry, folklore, and it's got articles that he wrote for the uh, Lingwin Alamak when he was still alive. So yeah, recommendation, read. It is a really nice book and I'm probably going to copy a load of stuff from it into my Book of Shadows. So speaking of Book of Shadows... Um, I've added some more, as you can see now, these were empty pages, but now I've got information in the Sabbats pages. I have some more spells, I have a divination spell, and a cute little picture. And I've got tarot information, um, a sleep spell. Um, what I think is quite useful about what I've added as well, I've added a chakra for chakra healings. So I'd like to start doing that soon. Um, all these new things to do. And I think this is really useful. I've picked up a reversal spell. I picked it up online. And it's a nice little simple one. It's just a basic charm and a meditation, really. So we can sort it. And obviously, I've written out my spirit guide meditation, which I'm going to have to record myself talking myself through it. Uh, before I actually do it. Obviously, the reason why I've got little crosses there and it's blank is because I want to print off some photos or some pictures from online uh, to relating to the meditation. I want to stick it underneath certain chunks of writing, which is why that's all blank. And yeah, I think the meditation is the last thing I wrote in here because now the rest of it's blank. So, and obviously, I've even the ones I've done before, I've um, added some pictures from the internet which I've already found so like, that's my detoxification picture I really like that it's quite cute um, what else have I got I've got yeah the hand fasting one found a picture of a hand fasted cup of hands and I found a cute little fairy and I've got like loads, loads of stickers everywhere um, so yeah so that's my book of shadows um, I'm trying to think, what else am I going to talk about? Oh yeah, general life. So, um, 
Mary Rose interview went really well. I had to really rush to get there though because the social worker that was supposed to turn up didn't turn up, which was not helpful because obviously we have busy lives and we've got things to do. So, meh. Yeah. But I managed to make it and uh, it was a very short interview. Uh, basically, I was showed everywhere around. I was shown staff room, I was shown the activity room for when we used to have uh, schools come in. Um, obviously, they've said that schools and colleges and groups haven't aren't booking anything until the new museum opens so I'm like okay that sounds like fun um, and he sort of explains some of the parts of the job that I will be on little tables learning about information and obviously talking through information for visitors um, and obviously when the actual museum proper museum opens and obviously everything's moved out of the temporary accommodation um, it will be my job to obviously lead people around and talk about the exhibits and what have you um, and um, yeah, that in and he asked me a few questions, a few basic questions like, oh, why did you want to interview, um, volunteer with Mary Rose? Um, what, what, uh, what fascinates you about the story? Um, why do you like history? And have you always wanted to work in a museum? Stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, great. And um, he emailed me today asking for another reference because apparently I was supposed to put two references and I only put one. So I've got to do that. Um, so I've done that. And then he said to me that once all that has gone through, then I can start. I can start whenever. And Because he actually said, oh, when can you start? And I said, well, whenever you want me to start, really. I'm more than happy. Although I can't obviously do next Tuesday because um, I'm in, at a conference. And he was like, oh, fair enough. And I can't do Sundays at the moment because of gang show rehearsals and, you know... I can do rehearsals in May, not rehearsals, um, Sundays from May onwards. I can do Tuesday, Saturday and Sundays and obviously in the holidays I can obviously do more hours. So I'm like, yay, very exciting. Um, so that's all good. Um, obviously uh, York is ever closer. I think it's now five days to go till York. So um, I've got to do the last of my packing and um, the last of um, sorting everything out. Um, obviously, I bought my Scott Cunningham book to take with me, but I've read through quite a bit of it already. I've got to recharge my Kindle. Uh, cause I want to take that with me. I want to take, my, take this laptop with me so I can make more videos while I'm up there um, and stuff like that, really. So, yeah, it's going to be quite fun. Um, obviously, taking the other two days off to be cheeky. So yeah, I'm only in college for Monday, because obviously it's going to take, I know it's going to take two days for me to recover, I know it is, because I'm just a lazy bugger. <laughs> it's great. Um, think. So this week is the week, obviously, um, I'm not going to be here for the next three weeks, so I'm going to be in Portchester for three weeks, because... Um, on Sunday, uh, my carer and her husband fly out to Goa uh, whilst I enjoy Portchester for three weeks, which will be quite nice. It'll be quite nice to spend a lot more time with Josh than we usually do. Um, and yeah, it'll just be really nice. Um, so that's happening as well. Um, so yeah, I've got a massive suitcase to pack today, which is why I'm rather keen for my carer to come home and let me in. And also because my feet are blooming frozen. Um, as much as I love nature, I'm really cold. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much most of my news. Um, and I think now I'll leave it at that um, for catch up. Um, I'm just going to let you know a couple of videos I'm going to be doing in the next few days. I'd like I'm going to be doing a feminism video, uh, partly because I am going to the conference. And partly because of this awesome book, which is such an inspiration, Feminism for Teenagers by Sophie Grillet. I will do a video about this book alongside everything else. But I've got to plan this one. So yeah, that's that. I'm also going to be doing a video about meditation and about spirit guides and totem animals. Um, and I'm just trying to think, what else am I going to do? Obviously I'm going to do a load of, a load of York videos and I'm going to do a Women's Day video and talk about why Women's Day is so important, not to just to us as women, but us as witches as well. 
um, and the, how you can celebrate it um, and obviously what I'm going to be up to probably just sleeping a woman has the right to sleep around not that type of sleep around oh dear never mind anyway I'm going to go before I dig myself any holes uh, blessed be and I hope you guys have a lovely few more days and uh, yeah blessed be